Hi guys, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. Brand new release for this game and I was playing Fantasy Star Online on my GameCube. So I'm really hyped with this game. Uh, they update the engine also, so brand new game. Um... We will start with like the optimization of Windows and after that we will go inside of the game to make sure that everything is optimized. The first thing that you need to search for is your game mode. Make sure that the game mode is at on. Right now game mode is really good. Before like last year on my guide I was telling you guys to disable it. Now they did a lot of update and uh, for example if you have like a Ryzen processor it's really good honestly. It's taking the best core on your CPU to make sure those core will uh, be dedicated to your game. So the best boost clock will be uh, allowed to your game so more FPS. After that Xbox Game Bar make sure that this one is at off. I don't recommend any overlay like don't use the Discord overlay, AMD overlay, NVIDIA overlay. You can use MSI after a burner if you want. To have like uh, your amount of fps and monitor your temperature and stuff like that but don't go too crazy with overlays after that the capture mode make sure that background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off the other thing that i recommend is the gpu right gpu and click on graphic setting you will have an option called hardware accelerated gpu scheduling to see this option first of all you need the latest version of windows and also, you will need uh, an NVIDIA GPU 1000 series or uh, more recent. Um, I, I'm not too sure. I don't think it's available right now on AMD. So they will probably do an update for that. And uh, you can expect like 3 to 4% four four, four boost if you have like a mid-range low-end computer. But uh, if you have like a brand new IN with the 1080 Ti, honestly, you will not see the difference. To make sure this um, will apply, you really need to restart your computer. They will tell you that. Uh, and yeah, that's about it for this one. Another thing that is really important, it's your uh, graphic driver. So make sure that you have the latest driver from NVIDIA or AMD. Even Intel, if you're playing this game with an integrated GPU, really important to go on their website. Don't just update your driver with the Windows update. Uh, Windows update will just provide you a generic driver to make sure that you're seeing your screen, uh, but it's not for video games. So just go on their website, Intel, AMD, or Nvidia, download the latest one and make sure that you have this. Uh, one more thing that I can tell you guys, it's about energy profile. Make sure that your Windows energy prof profile is at balance or performance. Really important. I see a lot of people uh, when I try to help people with their FPS, when they're playing on, on some laptop, uh, they have like some random drivers from, I don't know, like Asus, Dell and stuff like that. And sometimes like it seems that they override their profile, the energy profile from Windows. So for example, they plug their computer in the wall with the laptop and the computer is still staying on eco mode. And because of that, they're using like 50% of the resources of their computer. So boost clock are pretty low on CPU and GPU. So really important to use like balance or performance mode when you're playing a game. Uh, so just look at this. Normally on the desktop computer, you will not have this issue. It's more like a laptop thing, but still just make sure uh, another thing that you can do it's on your uh, video card go to nvidia control panel go to manage 3d setting scroll down and you have power management mode i recommend maximum performance this one it's another like performance thing don't use the eco one again so balance or performance is always better to make sure that you're using 100 percent of your computer so this is pretty much it for the uh, windows part so now we will go inside of the game Okay, so now we will go in settings in the game and we go to the graphic option. Honestly, in this game, it's pretty crazy. You have a lot of different options. Uh, so uh, we will look at it. I will tell you like how many FPS that you can gain, like an average. And after that, it's more like if you want to change it or not, because everybody have a different objective. So if you, for example, want to run the game at 60 and you're missing like 10 FPS, uh, you will, I, I, I will recommend you, for an example, uh, just to change your shadows, uh, a graphic setting, but it really depends, like, do you want, like, an eye refresh rate, uh, FPS, for example, 144 or just 60, so that's why I'm, I will tell you what to change and what can you expect. So, first of all, effect light source and terrain lining, I recommend to put those one at off, you can get 2-3% to boost, uh, uh, without them, and also camera lighting, I recommend to put this one at zero, 
Uh, because, yeah, I was getting some random drops even on my laptop. By default, it's at 50. So, and I'm not a big fan of lighting in this game. I feel like the visibility was a bit weird. Uh, you have a lot of different parameters that I will show you that make the game blurry. And also, all the lighting effect was a bit too much for me. So, that's why I'm putting those one at off and zero. Screen edge darkening will not give you more FPS. It's more like an effect here, as you can see. I don't like it. So, that's why I'm removing it. Global Illumination, you can get like a nice 3% boost in your FPS uh, if I compare on to off. So this one, you can definitely put this one at off. Bloom, not a big fan of this effect, but it will just give you 1%. So if you like the Bloom effect in this game, you can definitely go at on. It will not change uh, your stuff. Uh, light rays, this one is a bit, it's kind of important. So when you have like those light rays effect with uh, uh, like trees and stuff like that, I was getting a lot of like FPS drop, so this one I really recommend to put this one at off if, if you're getting some drops when you're seeing light rays. So definitely this one is really important. Volumetric fog. This one also can give you a nice amount of FPS. So on to off, I was getting 4% boost. So this one, I'm putting this one at off. Effect distortion rendering. This is one of those options that I really don't like about the image like quality, the clarity of my image. So that's why I'm going with off. For rendering, this one you can like give, get a 2 to 3% boost in your FPS. I like the fur rendering in this game, so that's why I'm using the on. Blurry effect, really important to put this one at off. Not a huge improvement in your FPS, but a huge improvement in your image clarity. So that's why I'm removing it. Color tone curve, you can stay at on. Depth of feel, again, it's another one that uh, will make your image blurry. So I really recommend to put this one at off. After that, uh, specular anti-aliasing, you can definitely go with on. I recommend to use uh, FXAA for the anti-aliasing in this game. TAA, first of all, you're losing too much FPS, and also it makes your uh, image blurry. So FXAA is a good uh, spot for me. Uh, but if you don't like uh, the FXAA and you don't mind about aliasing, for sure I recommend to just removing it. You will have better clarity, but you will have aliasing in your image. Also, you can definitely use tessellation, not a huge impact on your FPS in this game. Screen space reflection, this one, sometimes in some games, you're using a lot of FPS because of this one. In this game, I feel it's really good. Didn't see any improvement when I was removing it or activate it. After that, this section, this section will give you a lot of FPS. So first of all, ambient inclusion, I recommend to put this one at off. You can get a nice 3% boost in your FPS. Screen space shadow, a nice 2% over here. And shadow quality, this one is really important. For each bracket, you're almost getting like 3% boost in your FPS. So I just recommend to put this one at 1. It's not really important. It's not like you're playing an FPS shooter competitive and you want to see if someone is there. So definitely remove that. Cloud clarity, this one is also give you a nice 3% boost for each bracket. So I'm putting this one at 1. Particle quality, I was getting uh, on my desktop, it's pretty, it's it's okay, but on my uh, laptop, I was getting some drops when too much particle I was seeing in it. Uh, so like 10 to 15% drop in my uh, FPS. So that's why this one, I just put this one at on, at one, sorry. If you like particle, you can definitely maybe go something like in the middle ground with two. But again, it was affecting my FPS. Max detail model, I feel like a good spot here, it's 10. Don't go too, too crazy with this one. 10 is a good spot and uh, it, you don't really see an impact on your FPS. And if you have an issue when a number of models displayed, when you see too much people, this is pretty much where I was losing uh, most of my FPS when like too much character in, in the screen. You can limit that to 8 if you want and it will help you a lot. After that, you have the 3D rendering resolution. This one I recommend to use I. Uh, don't go lower than that. It's it's like you're uh, downscaling your image quality and you will see that your image will be blurry and you will have artifact. So this one, just go with I. Uh, don't use the uh, automatic resolution adjustment. Really important. Maximum frame rate. I recommend just to lock it with the amount of Hertz on your monitor. So if you have a 60 Hertz monitor, go with 60 FPS. If you have 144 Hertz monitor, go with 144 FPS. Uh, inactive frame rate restriction, you can stay at on. After that, texture filtering and texture resolution. This one uh, really depends on your uh, VRAM on your video card. So if you have 4 gig and more, you can definitely play 16 and I. 8 and middle if you have 3 gig, 2 gig go something with low and 4x or 
trillionaire. And if you have less than two gig, just like put everything at media uh, at low. Sorry, the minimum. I'll just go back at high. And the last one, Terran draw distance. Again, this one huge impact on your FPS. So for each bracket, I was getting three to four percent boost. I recommend to use something like between two or, or three. It's an MMO you want to see further in front of you. So don't go with one for this one. So really depend where you are right now in your guide. If you have a, a nice amount of FPS, go with three or even four. Uh, if you don't and you're struggling, you will probably need to play at two. So that's about it, guys, for my uh, Fantasy Star Online guide. If you have any questions, just come in, in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.